Picture this. It's the 19th century gold rush, and men are trekking across the rugged landscapes of California and the Klan Dyke in search of gold. It's a true treasure hunt, and many left their ordinary lives to strike it rich. The lore of sudden wealth, tales of fortune, and the thrill of adventure were strong motivators. People would pan for gold in rivers, and some even dug deep into the earth in search of this precious metal. Fast forward to present day, where gold reigns as a $200 billion industry each year, making billions for countries like China who leads in gold production, Australia and Russia running closely behind. But let's step back and go behind the scenes, peeling back the layers of wonder to unveil the secrets of how gold is made. The quest for the beauty and value of gold unveils a captivating narrative of exploration surrounding one of the Earth's most precious resources. Gold, the shining symbol of wealth and luxury, goes through a remarkable journey from its underground origins to our hands. Are you more interested in uncovering the mysteries of how gold is made, or the amount of money gold makes? Drop a comment below. In the heart of our planet, deep within the Earth's crust, a magnificent transformation takes place that has fascinated humankind for centuries. My journey begins 10,000 feet below surface, searching for the deep deposits within the earth. This hunt for gold has been the stuff of legends, dating back to the dawn of human history. Fast forward to today, gold mining has come a long way from the romanticized gold rush era. Modern mining is a highly engineered and technologically advanced process. It starts with geological surveys and exploration. Geologists study the Earth's crust, looking for signs of gold deposits, such as quartz veins, rocks, and mineral indicators. Once a promising site is identified, the actual mining begins. After locating a gold deposit, miners use a combination of techniques. One of the most common methods is open pit mining. It involves removing layers of earth and rock to reach the gold-bearing ore beneath. Next, the ore is extracted and transported to a processing facility. Here, it undergoes a series of crushing, grinding, and chemical treatments to separate the gold from other minerals. From the rough and rugged mines, we journey to the heart of gold's transformation, the factory where it is refined and shaped into the luxurious metal I know and love. Once the ore arrives at the factory, we begin the process of refining. Gold is often mixed with impurities like silver and copper, and our job is to purify it. The process called smelting is the next step. It's where the ore is heated at extremely high temperatures. This causes the impurities to separate from the gold, leaving behind pure, molten gold. Once we have pure gold, it's time to shape it into the various forms we are familiar with. This includes casting gold into bars, coins, or jewelry. Quality control is paramount. We use precise measurements to ensure the right level of purity, and skilled artisans craft the gold into its final form. In our factory, there's a fascinating synergy of machines and human craftsmanship. While some processes are automated for precision, there are also skilled artisans who create intricate designs and shapes for jewelry and ornaments. My golden journey continues in the delivery of these glowing treasures into consumers' hands. It's a final act in this golden opera, where the allure of this precious metal meets eager hands. The factory's job is to ensure these gleaming pieces of gold reach their intended owner jewelers. Factories partner with manufacturers, jewelers, and retailers to make gold accessible to consumers. So purchase you can choose from a variety of forms, such as jewelry, coins, bullion, or even electronic devices containing minute traces of gold, which contribute to its recyclability. The allure of gold extends far beyond its mere material worth. It serves as a potent symbol of wealth, prestige, affluence, and even matters of the heart. Its timeless and universal fascination makes it a cherished and sought-after treasure across cultures. It is the crown of kings and queens. But what makes it popular? When the kings and queens discard old jewelry, where does it go, one might ask? Well, that's where recycling comes in. Manufacturers are committed to responsible gold sourcing. Gold can be recycled through various processes to recover and reuse this precious metal. 
The recycling of gold is not only environmentally responsible but also economically beneficial. Gold recycling is typically conducted through a meticulous process. First collect the gold. Then it is sorted and tested. Afterwards it is melted down to remove any impurities. Next it is refined to further purify the gold. Finally we are ready to cast it into its next shape whether it be jewelry or coins. Bringing us to the last and final step in the recycling process, reusing the gold. For centuries gold has dazzled and captivated humans. If you enjoyed this video, watch this next one on how cement is made.